Hey guys, Curtis from Thunder Beast. Quick follow-up video to that first educational video that we posted. We had a couple people uh, submit comments asking how does the velocity of the bullet affect the supersonic crack? Um, so we took four weapon systems out and got supersonic crack data at the mil spec mic location. Um, and here in Pascal's versus time is the supersonic crack at four different velocities for 30 cal bullets. Um, now while in theory the shape and length of the bullet will affect the supersonic crack, for us um, that's not going to show up in the data. And the reason for that is the dominating factors are velocity and the cross-sectional area perpendicular to the direction of travel of the object. So in this case that's caliber which is the same across all four bullets. So in gray here we have 300 blackout at 2180 and then the yellow is a 127308 that was 2300. The blue is a bolt action 308 20 inch at 2630 and the orange is a 300 normal mag at 2860. Um, and it's doing exactly what we would expect it to. It's a parabolic curve that comes up and plateaus at roughly 134 and a half decibels. Um, we're showing it here in Pascal's because it shows the discrepancies better between the four velocities. When, switch, when converting this to decibels, the 300 blackout, which is the lowest, is 131.9 dB. The 308 at 2300 is 134.2. The 308 at 2630 is 134.6. And the 300 norma at 2860 is 134.7. Um, in the past, we've typically seen the decibels for 30 cal supersonic crack vary anywhere from 133.5 to 134.5, and that is something that is going to be affected by the atmospherics of that day. Um, and that's why in the future, if we pull the, the supersonic crack out of the data, we will post what it is so that you're aware and so we're fully transparent. Thanks.